Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Alright, so if you guys haven't watched my last video first, go ahead and click on that one first and then come back to this one because if you guys have been following me for like a little bit, probably even like a couple weeks, not a couple months, you guys know that I've had problems with my rotors and I finally changed them to specific ones that I actually wanted and they've been nothing but great. Obviously, I've only had them about a week, but they've been, they've been, they've been great pretty much and they look really nice. I think they look really nice and I need to take some photos with them actually that I've seen them. Um, but if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's down in the description below. I post a lot of things there before I even post them here on YouTube, obviously. But if you guys don't, just follow me because why not? You know, I post pictures on there too. I'm pretty good at photography. If you guys, if you guys didn't know, I'm not as good as a uh, food for Audis, which if you guys don't know him, you guys should. You guys should follow him on Instagram. Free shout out right there. Anyway, onto this video. Okay, so look, little story time here. Okay, so when I was leaving work today. I was driving my car, you know, like regular, like I always do. And for some reason, I felt like a little lag in when I pressed the gas, but I, I didn't think like nothing about it, actually. Um, so it's pretty high. It's like 99 degrees. So I'm assuming you know, I was like, you know, maybe maybe the heat is uh, messing with the throttle response a little bit, you know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But it wasn't like the biggest deal. It was like a little, I pushed the gas and it didn't respond how I usually respond, how it usually responds. Plus I have the roar pedal if you guys don't know. Um, I also have another video for that if you guys want to go check it out. Just type in like my name and then put roar pedal. But anyway, I have that. So I don't know. I was like, maybe I messed up a little bit. But I didn't really think too much of it. Just kept driving. Drove pretty normal, right? So after that, I was like, okay, I came home and I actually received a part that I'm going to install into my car, which I was going to install today, which was going to be this video that I'm recording right now, but unfortunately, it's not, because I ran, to, ran into another problem, okay? So, as I was about to open my hood, and as I opened my hood, as you guys can see, I was just inspecting it, you know, because you got to inspect the Audi. You got to inspect it before you do anything to it, because, you know, it's a German car, and they have a, they have a tendency to not be as reliable as you know a Toyota or something which is cool you know because you trade off you know the luxury for the reliability but it's a very reliable car but I don't even think it has anything to do, to do with it being a German car because I'm gonna show you right now okay so I opened it up and I started inspecting it so let's go look at it cool we opened it up you know it's dirty you know I haven't cleaned it in quite a while actually but whatever you know I checked the checked the fluid we cool you know it's right there right where minimum's at not too bad it's kind of hot because i just used it plus it's 90 degrees then i came over here i was like that's a dirty ass filter but you know whatever it don't matter but then i was like wait a minute why is the filter touching this which it is really close to it all the time but it never touches it and for some reason this engine intake is meant for this car but the little latch that has back there, I know you can't see, it's not a latch, it's like a little hook that you're supposed to hook it onto the to the metal part down here. It doesn't fit perfectly, and I tried to twist it, but then it wouldn't fit perfectly here. So it's kind of just here, kind of just floating here. But I was like, it's too close, and I don't know if you guys seen the problem yet, but I then I then I moved it, and I was like, oh my god. It's like ripped. I was like, how did that even happen? Now, what I'm thinking, the most logical explanation is that since I don't have a box for the intake, all the heat from this, all the power we be pushing, all the horsepower, all the torque, you know, from the little supercharge we got right here, was heating it up so much. And plus, it is summer in California, which is like 99 degrees. Well, it's not even summer, actually. It's 99 degrees. Heats it up. And I think this just, since it's like a year old, maybe it just like gave out already. So... What I'm thinking is probably this is exactly what happened to lag because I guess you can have like a little leak right there of air. So unfortunately, instead of doing the other mod that we were going to do, we're going to have to go fix this real quick. Now, I would usually wait for, you know, the original part or like the part from engine because that would be ideal. You know, that's what I would want. But I don't really feel comfortable driving it like this, so I'm gonna go check out AutoZone. I know they have a couple intakes from K&N, which K&N is not bad, you know, K&N is actually a pretty good intake company. But I don't know if they're, if they're gonna fit. So I was looking at some, and I'm pretty sure it is gonna fit. I think this is a 3.5 inch diameter from the outside. So I'm gonna go look and try to get a K&N one, fit it on. Obviously I'm gonna keep the receipt just in case it doesn't fit. But that's what I'm gonna have to do for now. Plus, eventually, probably like in a couple months, 
I'm gonna change the whole intake system. You know, we're gonna get the ultra charge. What was it called? The ultra charger setup? I don't know, I forgot. But you know, it kind of extends the throttle body more forward. And then I'll probably get another intake, probably from Integrated Engineering because theirs looks really nice. Probably not the carbon one, because the carbon one is very, very expensive. And I ain't got that kind of money. But right now we're just gonna do a little DIY. We're gonna we're just gonna buy an intake. Red one probably. Uh, just because I was looking at them and I like the blue one, but it's time to change colors, you know. Good thing is that I was already looking to replace it, but now I kind of have to replace it today. So that's what we're going to go do. Um, let's go ahead and go. Let's just drive it slow just because we don't want any lag or any dust to get in there if we can help it, which I doubt they will, but you know, just in case. I don't know. But let's get a move on. So right now, it feels pretty normal. Um, not really pushing it anyway. I wouldn't want to. Um, thankfully, AutoZone is like right here. You know, I don't think it's that big of a problem. Honestly, I could probably drive like this for like a couple, like a couple days too. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I don't really know too much about the specifics of the intake and how sealed it has to be, but I'm pretty sure it does have to be sealed. You know, there's a reason it's sealed. But you know, it, it didn't give me any codes. It not too bad. So I'm just driving right here. It's like three blocks away from my house. Go to AutoZone real quick. Try to find the one that I'm gonna get. But honestly really sad really sad because i could i could have used this money to get another mod but instead i gotta buy this intake which i was gonna do anyway but like i don't want to do it right now you know it's like i wanted to wait a little bit but it's all right um but yeah it's it's cool though it's cool because now at least i know that i'll have a good in, a good uh intake filter at least and i won't need to worry about one for like another like year if i don't care if i don't want to or whatever but I'm probably gonna upgrade it in like a couple months just because like I said I want to get the ultra charger kind of I think it's ultra charger I want to say ultra charger I think it's the ultra charger I want to get that with the integrated engineer intake just because it looks pretty cool I might get the carbon fiber I don't know it's a little expensive but it looks real nice I don't know and you know it got that colder air the only thing I won't like about it is because obviously it's gonna deafen the noise a little bit from the supercharger which I love but if it if it makes performance better and it keeps my intake secure and not um, melting from that spot right there. And then I guess I'll do it. And it'll look nice while I'm doing it anyway. So it wouldn't matter too much. But anyway, we're already here at AutoZone as you guys can see. Um, so yeah, I'm about to park and go inside. This is the second time I came like within the hour and a half span because I came to buy something else. And now I'm back and now I'm buying an intake. Hopefully they don't kick me out for being here too much. But anyway, I'll see you guys when I come back. All right, you guys, so now we do have the filter. I bought a k and one, like I told you guys. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about it, but I sure hope that it is a 3.5 flange. Flange? Don't, I, I messed that up, I'm sorry. But I, I sure hope it is because I don't wanna come back. But I kind of measured it with like a tape measure and I eyeballed it, it's like a 3.5. There's no 3.25, there's no 3.75. So I'm assuming it's a 3.5, there was a four, but this one looks really close to what mine is right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and install this one, but I'll show you guys more when I get home. But it looks pretty cool, it looks pretty cool. I think it is still um, uh, dry, not like, you know, some k and ones you can oil them up and all that, but I think this one's like a dry one, I hope so. Uh, I just saw re-oiling volume, okay, that's not good. But if we gotta oil it, oh well. I hope K&N and engine don't fight. I hope they work well together. Hope I didn't need a new tune to run this K&N filter, but it does say it increases horsepower. I don't know. Maybe I might get like 50 more wheel horsepower with this with this filter right here. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to gap some some Hellcats out here. But we'll see. Let's go ahead and go home. Alrighty, guys. So here we have it. Look, it says lifetime air filter. All right, so. If it's not lifetime it messes up again I, i'm gonna have a war with them but look uh this is a different language okay that's a different language designed to increase horsepower washable with up to 75,000 miles between cleans okay 3.5 3.5 flange cool k and performance you know we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see look even nascar they official performance filter so nascar even uses this which means that my car is going to be like around 600 horsepower whatever horsepower they have i think it's like five something but that's exactly what this means that's exactly why they have the nascar logo right there okay but let's go ahead and open it up 
all right so here it is um i was touching it and it does definitely feel oily so it is an oily look you can even see it right there i don't even know if you can see it but like it's all oily i don't really like it but hopefully it gives me more horsepower right um there you go k and then let's go ahead and open up the hood and see if it fits to be honest because we don't even know thankfully i already pre-opened it oh my god sorry. okay there we go so by the looks of it pretty much the same size right cool so we're just gonna go ahead and install it hopefully let it cool down a little bit probably not but yeah we're gonna go ahead and install it and hopefully it'll fix the problem that we had even if i didn't really have a problem honestly it was just um what i thought i felt you know the placebo effect and all that but we good either way even though it doesn't mix and match because i got the carp sticker so if a cop ever pulls me over let's go look at the carp sticker which is quite funny because my friend josiah i don't he hasn't been on the channel for quite a bit actually he has but not with his car because his car has been getting fixed but it was funny because one time the cops pulled him over and because he was like he accelerated a little bit and you know he has a scat pack so it's kind of loud kind of loud um but anyway he wasn't even going that fast i think he was going like 45 miles an hour and it was like a 40 mile an hour zone or whatever but the cop like pulled him over opened up his hood i think or I, actually this was a different time oh well either way they opened up his hood and they said that intake does not like the intake um is not legal or whatever and they gave him a what do you call it a, um what do you call that state wrath but the the thing had a carb sticker on it and he said oh but i have a carb sticker carb number on it or whatever carb sticker he's like that doesn't matter i'm like what that's that's literally what matters when you're getting state ref or to know if like something is legal or not the carb number but anyway that was a pretty quick story but it's pretty stupid right i don't know why they'd be doing that i don't know cops just want to even if they're wrong and even if, even if they know they're wrong they just want to be right or maybe they just don't know anything so but if they don't know anything they, sh they shouldn't be saying anything but whatever that's past me all right let's go ahead and get this filter on real quick Alrighty, all we need is a little screwdriver craftsman whatever um if the if it looks new it's just because i've never used them before okay so let's go ahead and get to unscrewing this looks very easy very simple it's kind of hot actually but look let's take this melted thing oh my god you see i don't know if you guys can see this but look look all the all the all the stuff let's take this off yeah it's definitely hot oh i sure hope it fits i sure do because if it doesn't then i well i don't know what i'm gonna do let's see that's crazy it just it melted right off guys that's ah, it's hot. Ah, it's hot. Ah. sorry sorry for cussing okay now that we have it off might just clean it real quick Just a little bit right here. Is this bad? Will there get that? Will there be dust in there? Maybe not. Or maybe. We will see. But look, very simple. Please fit. Please fit. Please fit. Oh, thank God. Perfect size. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. Yeah. There we go. Make sure it fits in there. Like a glove, right? <laughs> not coming off okay that means it's good so now look at the little intake it's the same size oh no this is a little bit longer just a little bit but it's not too bad yeah you see it was already getting bad anyway so you know what's that look at that oh my god look at that oh sorry oh my god i should have cleaned this no wonder i didn't no wonder i got gapped by those cars that's crazy but yeah look guys it's just melted off completely Look, this thing got even, like, all ugly. That's ridiculous. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. See, keep the maintenance up on your Audi. Thankfully, thankfully though, guys, it didn't give me any problems. Um, that was probably the quickest fix ever. Um, it fits very well. Uh, see how now? It's not. Let me zoom in for you guys. It's not touching anything. Oh, and look, now we match with the little breather filter down there. How cute. But anyway, see, I was not touching anymore. That's how it was. And that's why I noticed that there was something different. I was like, well, what's going on over here? What's going on? And then we saw. We, we saw, but we fixed it. Okay. So I'm probably going to give my little engine a little detail. Probably a little quick wash because it looks pretty ugly. But anyway, so yeah. 
So, if you guys live in a hot area, I would recommend checking your air filter right now. Okay, so once you guys get off this video and like it and subscribe to this channel, um, you guys should go check your air filter because this might happen. And it's not pretty good. I don't think so. But if you guys are looking to change your air filter and you don't want to go with the same, I guess, people that you bought it from. So, like, I didn't want to go with the engine. Not that I didn't want to go with them, but, you know, I just couldn't because... I needed it now so you can probably go with k &N. this is the exact one let's go ahead and look at it I'm not gonna put the link in the description but you know it's not that hard to find you can find it at any AutoZone found it really quick um, if you guys do have the engine intake the the um, diameter is a three and a half flange it's not flange not flange so, so yeah but right now I'm gonna go test it out, make sure everything's good. But I mean, I don't see how it cannot be good because it's just an intake, it's just a filter, you know. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think it looks a lot cleaner with the red one, or do you guys like the blue one better? I kind of, kind of dig. It's kind of pink. It's not even red, to be honest. That's red right there. That's pink. But that's red. I don't know. But it looks kind of nice. Kind of like it. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But yeah, let's go ahead and take it out for a quick test drive. See if we get any horse, extra horsepower out of this um, to set up now. Alrighty, before we even take it off, let's turn it on first. Make sure there's no engine codes. Watch it show up like a ton of them. It's out of nowhere. Okay, first daddy sound. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Not that one. There's the next one right there. Okay. That's a door. That's a brake pedal. Okay. Inspection, dude. That's another noise right there. What else we got? What else you got for me? What else you got for me? You got the light? Oh, you got those. Okay, that's true. All right, and you got the light. Oh my God, that's like seven noises already. That's like seven emojis. My God, that mean that means it's good. See what I mean? How do you always? All, all these emojis on my car. All these sounds. I, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go check it out real quick. good nothing no weird noises i guess i mean what weird noise can i make you know i'm sure it's on there right yeah it's good um all right let's go ahead and uh rev it ah uh, just kidding imagine imagine if it had the wire they don't have a wire it's a new car it's electronic but let's go ahead and uh close it actually oh my god all that oil on me um let's go ahead and close it Go ahead and take it for a little test drive because we gotta check how it responds. Watch it have like a million horsepower, that'd be awesome. But alright, let's get let's get going. Alrighty guys. So right now, feels good. Oh my god, oh my god. Dude, I swear that was like 50 more horsepower to the wheel. That's crazy. Okay, guys, get this filter. This thing will add 50 horsepower to your guys' car. Damn, that's crazy. I'm just joking. Or am I? No, I'm not. Well, I am. Wait, what? Anyway. Feels about the same, honestly. Feels normal. Doesn't feel different. I mean, obviously, I, I wasn't expecting it to feel different. I was just joking about that. In reality, I just wanted to make sure that nothing was gonna... That, you know, that I put it on, right? I mean, how, how hard can it be to actually put that on? But you know, me, I, I'm not I'm not too big about cars. So, maybe, maybe I'll hit... Ooh, these potholes right here about to end my tires. Um... I don't know too much about cars, so maybe, maybe I, maybe I screwed the bolt on the incorrect way. Maybe I put the filter on the wrong way. You know, I never know. But I just gotta make sure, you know. But everything's running fine. Um, I was kind of mad, low key. I, I was pretty mad that I had to uh, put this intake on instead of installing the other part that I wanted to put on. Which, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to it because I will be putting the part on in the next video. Okay, copyright. Um. I will be putting it on the next video, okay, so stick around for that, which should be sometime around next week, I don't know, but I'm very excited for it because it's something I've really wanted to do for the, for the longest time, and I finally have it with me, and guess what, the day I had time to put it on, I don't have time to put it on anymore because I have to put this on, but it's okay because everything happens for a reason, right, 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 say right, but that's okay, because I'm probably going to put it on tomorrow, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure. I'm going to put it on tomorrow. I'm going to make it happen tomorrow. I don't care if I don't sleep. But it's going to look so nice. It's going to feel nice. It's going to be nice. I don't want to give you too much, but if you guys are smart 
and you guys know what it is, shh, don't say anything. But yeah, I like it. Mad that I didn't, mad that I didn't uh, get to install that part today, but I'm starting to tomorrow, install it tomorrow, so we'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be good. Plus, I got a new intake anyway. I needed one, so there we go. I'm gonna end this video right here. Pretty short video, I'm assuming it's gonna be, but it's cool because it was just a out of the no out of nowhere video. I it just it just happened. It just my intake just so happened to be melted. But get a heat shield, guys. Get a heat shield if you guys don't want that to happen to you, or just make sure you don't live in California during the summer because that's it's bound to happen to be honest but if you guys enjoyed that video please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace